<laughs> what, uh, what have the last couple of weeks been like for you since you left the combine with a bunch of workouts? Yeah, they've been crazy. Um, I mean, I, I, didn't, I started workouts kind of late. I left about, I think it was last Saturday, but uh, my agent just sent me like my final schedule and I'm, I'm not getting home till like the, the 21st. <laughs> wow. Mm. On, the road, road, on the road a lot, huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's set me up for the NBA season, so I'm not, not really complaining too much. How have these first few workouts going for you? Been able to show the diversity of your game? Uh, I definitely think so. I think that you know I'm warming up as the as the workouts go on. I think I'm getting better and um, you know, really getting a feel for the teams. And uh, you know, as they all say, you know, uh, not only are they evaluating us, but we need to be evaluating them and, and how we feel through the workouts. So, what uh, are you? Are they looking at you as a four, a four and a five? And and do you think if, if that's the way it is, is that versatility is something that you consider a, a strength? Uh, I have no clue where they're looking at me, but um, you know I, I do like to look at that as a strength to be able to, to play a guard the four and the five. The stretch five offensively starting to evolve into another. I mean, people talk for years about stretch fours, but it's looking like the stretch five. About 12, 13 teams have them now. Do you think teams might be considering you in that kind of role? Uh, that's your hope. So I think that it's something that I could really fit into and uh, and help teams win that way. One thing about the Pistons, they have a All Star center and Andre Drummond and anyone or. Uh, when, they're, when they're drafting or making personnel moves, uh, a lot of that is a lot of their moves are based on how they think that guy would play with Andre Drummond. So, have you given any thought to that? Obviously, in your interview down there in Chicago, and obviously as you were traveling here, have you thought about how you would fit it, fit with Andre Drummond? Uh, yeah, I think it's a big thing to, to to look at my past with that. I played on every team I was on had a had a great big in high school. It's Chase Jeter, AAU, Ivan Rab. College, I was playing with uh, you know Ben Carter, Gerlach Okonobo. I've been playing with with bigs like that my, my whole life. And uh, you know I feel like I can make them better just, just as much as they can make me better. Was part of your decision to come out uh, kind of the, the fact that Dave Rice wasn't, wasn't around anymore? Um, I don't, I don't want to say that just because uh, at the beginning of the year they said, you know, if um, like we all sat down with all the coaches and they said if uh, based on my, my work ethic and my skill level, if I didn't, Leave after the first year, they felt they did their their job wrong. So I think it was kind of set from the beginning for me to, you know, progress and to be able to, to play at this level. Well, I guess you were considering your pedigree five star guy, uh, top ten prospect. It's kind of common for a guy like you to be thinking about the pros after one season, anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, it, it is a big jump though, so it's definitely something that, you know, you really gotta to look into and, and study. But yeah, I think it was set from the beginning. What were you working up before? Before you started hitting the road for the uh, for the workout, I'm working out in LA. 